Wow! Welcome to the bank reconciliation section of the cash book manager. This is a section that helps you reconcile all you've been doing on this cash book manager with your bank statement. Uh, if you've performed bank reconciliation before, you will know uh, it can be hectic. It can be sometimes frustrating trying to balance your cash book with your bank statement. But the cash book uh, manager has made it easy for you with a click, uh, just minimum input, your bank reconciliation, um, reconciliation is done. So we have our navigation link up here where you can easily navigate to other section of the cash book manager. And the user has limited inputs in the cells colored with orange. So you select the bank, okay? You select the bank which you want to reconcile, the dates. And the date is the last day of the month. So if you're reconciling for June, it will be 30th of June, 2020. So for each of the months you want to reconcile, the date you will input here is the last day of that month. So when you are done, you come to the actual bank statement. What is the closing balance that, that is stated in the bank statement as at, let's say, 31st of June of May, we have we, we inputted here. So what's the closing balance as at 31st May 2020? You input that closing balance here. Though we are using like dummy uh, transactions to illustrate this, so if there is no bank statement, say we are inputting a bank statement. So if you start working with it, with your real data, business data, get your bank statement, input that to closing balance, where you see closing balance on your bank statement, that amount input is here. Select the bank code you want to reconcile and the last day, Please, the last day of the month you want to reconcile and everything automatically pops up. If there is any unreconciled difference, then you go back to your cash transaction section. And what you need to do here is to capture run. Okay, I filter this to bank 01. Let me clear the filter. So all you need to do here is to first of all capture your bank charges your interest income. Your bank charge is, is a withdrawal, the money that they charge you for all transactions. Then interest income, if it's an interest generating account, you capture it. Any interest income that has been credited to your account, you also capture it. You check out for standing orders you give to the bank. Maybe you tell them to always uh, debit your account on a monthly basis. Also capture this transaction. And if there are transactions in your cash book, but are not on your bank statement, like uh, unpresented check or, or transaction that the, the bank has not cleared or treated. All you need to do is to trace that transaction here, come to the bank statement column, the bank statement date column, and ensure that that cell is blank because the bank has not recognized that transaction. So ensure there's no need of inputting a date because you, it, the date you're inputting shows that the bank has recognized that transaction. So at the point you are aware that the bank has not recognized that transaction, leave, the, leave it blank. If it's in the subsequent months they recognize it, you input the date it was recognized. Did you get that? So those are the things you need to do and you go back to your bank reconciliation and I believe by then it will be balanced. And if your bank translation is balanced, you see balance here. This is automated. And if it's not balanced, it puts not balanced. Just as it stated here, not balanced because we're using a dummy that I would not inputted our bank statement because we don't have an actual bank statement, right? So that's all you need to know about the bank reconciliation section of the cash book manager. But if while performing your tax or your bank reconciliation, you have any challenge, you can still reach out for support. I will be glad to render support to you. Right, so that's all about the bank reconciliation section of the cash book manager.